I didn't know my credit score could keep me from getting a job. Lenders look. It's Essendon. The insurance company won't tell you what your case is really worth. You need someone looking out for you. I'm Ryan Science. The insurance companies have their own lawyers and investigators. If you don't have a lawyer on your side, they call all the shots. Our 35 years of experience puts you in control. Just call Science Kirk and Miles. They know what it takes to get what you deserve. Call 1-800-LAWYERS 24 hours a day. If you have a phone or a computer, you have a lawyer. 1-800-LAWYERS. The following is a special presentation of Raycom Sports, home to regional college football and basketball. It's a cold, cloudy day in College Park, Maryland, with some wintry mix expected later in the region. But here in the Comcast Center, things should heat up very quickly. It's that time again. The conference schedule in full gear this weekend. North Carolina is the overwhelming favorite to win a national title, but Boston College said hold on there as they beat the Tar Heels in Chapel Hill just six days ago. So here we go again for season number 56 in the ACC, where anything is possible. Today, Grievous Vasquez leads Maryland into their ACC opener against Georgia Tech. ACC basketball from Raycom Sports now. Well, the student body doesn't come back to school for another two weeks, but the Comcast Center is rocking. More than 17,000 fans here for this ACC Saturday between Georgia Tech and the Terrapins of Maryland. And hi, everybody. I'm Tim Brand along with Dan Bonner. Let's start in the beginning. The ACC, everybody knows Carolina, Duke, and Wake Forest. What's the state of the Atlantic Coast Conference right now? Tim, I think the Atlantic Coast Conference, once again, is going to be a very, very good league. I think there's nine really good teams, and the other three teams are capable of winning on one of those any given night kind of affairs. Non-conference play, they won over 80% of their games. They're the top-rated conference in the RPI. As always, I think it's going to be a great year in the ACC. Let's start with this game, the Maryland Terrapins. Of course, they're led by Grievous Vasquez. Well, Grievous Vasquez is one of those guys that everybody knew that he was going to be pretty good because he's had a pretty good career so far. But these numbers might be in excess of what people thought. This young man leads the Terrapins in scoring, in rebounds, and in assists. His numbers in the conference are also very impressive. He has got to play well, however, on a Maryland team that doesn't have much size. Of course, Georgia Tech's coming off a nice win over Georgia. What can we expect out of them? Well, Georgia Tech, we said Maryland doesn't have much side. Georgia Tech does. Ghani Luol, one of the best young players, not only in the conference, but in the country. You can see averaging a double-double his length, his strength on the inside will be a problem for the Terrapins today. Pretty good matchup. Take us through the four keys to the game. That was Ge one of them. Well, Georgia Tech is a team that doesn't shoot the ball very well, so they need those plus possessions. They've got to get offensive rebounds, points off turnovers to really compete here in College Park. And for the Maryland Terrapins, they've got to get some perimeter productions. Vasquez and Hayes combined to shoot 6 of 28 in the loss to Morgan State. They can't do that today. Well, the Maryland Terrapins are 11-3. Three, nine and one at home, and it all started with March Madness. Of course, they always guarded Gary Williams. He came in in style. Folks, they're ready for basketball. They're ready for the ACC. Georgia Tech and Maryland coming up next. Ah, that's refreshing. Yeah, it's drinkability. Simple concept. The sun is hot, which makes us hot, but light. It's like a million tiny air conditioners refreshing your whole body. Why not just one big one? Because it's a million. I just think it'd be more energy efficient. The easy drinking taste of Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. Hey, better, 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 swing. Swing. Options are good. Shiny. Oh. And when you shop for groceries, you sure have plenty to choose from. Flashy. If you're looking for good food that's also a good value, switch and save with Foodline brand products. You'll enjoy national brand quality at a much more affordable price. Satisfaction guaranteed. Foodline brand products. National brand quality. Better price guaranteed. Ford's Employee Pricing Plus has been extended through January 12th. It's the final days to pay what we pay on every Ford car, truck, SUV, and crossover. 
Plus, get up to $6,000 cash back now through January 12th. Or get a special introductory offer on the all-new 09 F-150. It's your last chance to get a Ford Super Duty with Employee Pricing Plus and save over $12,000. It all ends January 12th. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Attention DirecTV and Dish Network customers. Make the switch to Comcast and get more HD and any room on demand. A library of 10,000 titles you can start in one room, finish in another. With access to over 1,000 HD choices at any given time. You won't get all the HD that Comcast delivers from DirecTV or Dish Network. We guarantee it. Make the switch to Comcast Digital Cable with HD. Packages starting as low as $39.99 a month for six months. Call 1-800-COMCAST. Public notice. Farm on me! Emergency liquidation! Every single department is way overstocked. So now over 300,000 dozen items are drastically price cut. Outerwear, 20 bucks. Lease separate, two for 15 bucks. Designer denim and corduroy, 10 bucks. It's all gotta go. Toasty warm thermal, designer tees, spring print hoodies, denim skirts, denim jackets, sweaters, sweaters, and more sweaters. Five dollars! It's a wall to wall emergency liquidation. Farm on me! Don't miss this chance. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by Food Lion, by Chick-fil-A, by Geico, by Alltel Wireless, by Pepsi, by Ford, and by Bud Light. The old Terrapin sticking his chest out today on a cold, cloudy day in College Park, Maryland. ACC basketball is presented in high definition where available by MFS Investment Management. A diverse range of products so advisors can choose what fits. Students don't come back till January 26th, but a pretty good representation here at the Comcast Center. Take a look at our food line starting lineups for tonight's game, for this afternoon's game. Obviously, Gani Lawal is the guy you want to see. 17 points, 10 rebounds a game. Zachary Peacock for Georgia Tech will not get the start. He's got a little indigestion, so Lance Storr starts for the Yellow Jackets. On the other side, of course, Grievous Vasquez. Dan talked about him. 18.6 rebounds a game. He's led the Terps in scoring nine of the 14 games that they've played. Georgia Tech and Maryland. Terps in white. Yellow Jackets in their yellow. Ball's loose, still loose. On the floor, Dave Neal comes up with it. And he is the hustler that guides this Maryland team, the only senior. Man to man for Georgia Tech. Critical for Maryland to get off to a good start. And Georgia Tech has trailed in so many games. They've made a living of coming from behind this season. Hayes with a nice drive. Can't get it to go. And the rebound taken inside by Tech. Just we were talking about in our keys, Tim Hayes, I think, has to have a good game today for the Terrapins. That's a good job to take the ball inside, but I think he was bothered by the size of the Yellow Jackets. And that certainly is the advantage of the Yellow Jackets today. Their size is big, even with Schumbert here. Schumbert 6'5", 200 pounds at the point. Johnny Lawal being guarded by Dave Neal, and you can see that mismatch. They'll look for that early. Shot clock is down to three. Lynch fires, and that bucket is good. I know so Lance Stores has Georgia Tech on the board. Georgia Tech is last in the ACC in three-point field goal shooting percentage, but Stores pretty good three-point shooter. Landon Milburn at the other end for two. And here's Maryland with the pressure. Georgia Tech is a team that likes to pressure as well, so it'll be interesting to see which team can handle their opponent's pressure. Georgia Tech has only nine scholarship players. They're a little bit light on the bench, and so they don't press as much this year, according to Paul Hewitt, but there's a travel and the first turnover of the game for Georgia Tech. Looked like Maryland had dropped back into the zone. There you're talking about Paul Hewitt and his bench. They don't have a lot of guys they can bring off the bench, but they do a good job pressuring in certain situations. They put the press on and they take it off. They generate a couple of turnovers. That's been an important part of their offense. Hayes on the baseline. Has it blocked inside, knocked out of bounds by Hayes. It'll belong to the Yellow Jackets. 
Gani Lawal got his hand on that one. I think important for Eric Hayes to score early to get his confidence going. He was only one for seven shooting the ball the other night against Morgan State. And again, he takes the ball to the basket because Georgia Tech really doesn't do a good job defending out on the perimeter against penetration, but that back, back line pretty big. Tech came from behind Tuesday night to beat Georgia 67-62. Actually won it with defense. Strong move inside. Rebound by Grievous Vasquez. Vasquez beyond the arc. Not even close. There's Neal again. Boy, Maryland was one for 14 shooting threes the other night. How about Bowie? He draws iron. Now they're 0 for 2 tonight. Knocked out of bounds by Milburn. Look at Gary Williams, who took over as head coach in Maryland in 1989, taking the Turks to 12 NC2A tournament bursts in the last 15 years. A couple of Final Fours and a 2002 national title, but they've been lean years here recently. They've gotten five shots up, Tim, but he's got to do a little better than 20%. Skip inside, back to Neal. He can hit that thing. He draws iron. He's been their best outside shooter, at least from beyond the arc. 0 for 3 beyond the arc today. Doors can't get it to go. Ball's still loose. Neal has another rebound. Vasquez right down Main Street. Offensive foul. So a little bit out of control. The foul on Vasquez, his first. I think it's a good idea by Vasquez to try to push the ball in transition. If you're not shooting the ball well from the perimeter, you want to get it close to the basket. But Georgia Tech does a nice job getting back in transition defense. Storrs just steps in. In this league, very rarely are you going to get it all the way to the basket. You've got to expect that somebody's going to try to step in and take the charge, pull up, shoot the jumper. Sean Mosley comes in from Maryland as Eric Hayes takes a seat next to Gary Williams. The wall up top, guarded by Neal. This is Clinch. And Clinch walks. Three turnovers already for Georgia Tech. That was a great job by Mosley to move his feet and cut off the penetration. Now here's Georgia Tech with the pressure. Sean Mosley out of Baltimore, Maryland, St. Francis High School. Player of the year in Baltimore last year. Had a terrific game against Charlotte as he continues to blossom. See, Georgia Tech's turned it over three times. Can't do that when you don't shoot the ball well, although neither team's shooting well at the moment. Two for ten combined. Jump stop, jump hook, and Vasquez is on the board. He's in the box score now. Four to three Terps. Nice job to attack the basket. If you're not shooting well from distance, get closer. Clinch had it in, came back out. Terps will push it. Amino with a big rebound over top of Neal. Yeah, that's going to be a problem all day. Rebounds inside, big guys. There's Luol. And a foul against Maryland. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well with 15.42 to play. First half. All right, sports fans, it's time to find Geico's number one fan. Tonight's winner will receive Geico t-shirts, hats, and an upgrade to courtside seats, and could star in a real Geico commercial. Let's see who it's going to be. It looks like we have a winner. Yes, we do, folks. How about that? Congratulations. And remember, saving money at Geico.com. So easy, a caveman can do it. Try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits, Chicken Minis, or Breakfast Burritos. Sometimes. Not the most comforting word, especially when it comes to my truck. I don't want a truck that can sometimes tow what I need to tow. The Toyota Tundra can tow over 10,000 pounds and is made to be tough, which is perfect. Because 
If I only get my work done sometimes, I only get paid sometimes. Nothing compares to the Toyota Tundra with an available 381 horsepower V8 engine. Now get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a new 2008 Toyota Tundra. Toyota, moving forward. Okay, Chad, so I choose the size of my... My man. Hey. What's new? Just keeping busy. Yeah. Fias is giving customers over 100 HD channels and a free DVR for six months. Wow, that's great. That is great. That is awesome. Did you just press all the buttons? No. Yeah, I think I'll take the stairs. Uh, the stairs don't work. I saw what you did. Switch to Fios today and get a free HD multi-room DVR for six months. This is Fios. This is big. Tonight, Georgia Tech and Georgia. Zach Peacock coming off the double-double that game. Scored uh, 18 points, led the rally from 13 points down. And Lewis Clinch hit the floor from the offensive rebound. Gotti Lewald dunked it home, and 67-62 was much needed down in Atlanta. Boy, it sure was. Georgia Tech uh, has already lost a home game to Illinois-Chicago. They lost at home to Virginia. That may have been devastating to lose that game to Georgia. But they, they hung in there, even though they did not shoot the ball very well, but they created turnovers. Their press was very effective. They got offensive rebounds. And Paul Hewitt knows when you have a team that doesn't shoot the ball well, you've got to score in different ways. And they need to do that today. Tech is 9-5. and five. Now the injuries have been the biggest factor in that slow start. Bell out for the season with spinal stenosis. Miller broke his nose. And when you had clinch early on as that academic casualty, it was a tough beginning for Paul Hewitt and his guys. 4-3 Maryland. Georgia Tech with four turnovers, keeping them down early on in this ballgame. Here's Mosley. Tucker kicks it to Neal. Neal was off to the right, not even close. Now, I just don't know that Dave Neal should make a habit of shooting that three. He's taken two today. Maryland 0 for 4 from beyond the arc, so they're 1 for 18 in their, over their last two games. Now, when you think about it, though, Neal is 10 for 22 from beyond the arc for the season. There's a foul call on Landon Milburn. Tim, you're right, but I think it's a matter of picking your spots. I think in the flow of the game when they move the ball and the defense is moving around and Neal gets to step out, uh, I think that and take an undefended shot, that's one thing. But early in the shot clock, I don't know that you want Dave Neal pulling the trigger from three. Holiday Amino hits the first. He's only a 53% free throw shooter. Now has hit 22 of his 40 free throws. He's, these are the first from the charity strike today. Georgia Tech has struggled as a team from the line. They are in the bottom 10 in the country in free throw shooting percent. But he bangs those two down. <laughs> Nothing wrong with those. <laughs> Bastiang checks in. And Amino goes out of the game for Tech. Georgia Tech. Tech with a one-point lead, low-scoring game. Neither team really looks that sharp early on, but kind of game we expected between these two. Maryland has won the last six in this series, 11 of the last 16. Dupree with a turnaround. Halfway down, comes back out. Boy, he could really help Maryland if he could just finish those shots close to the basket. Jumper kicks it out into the corner. Bang, the three ball from Clinch. Two, he was on the line. And there's Georgia Tech's pressure creating a turnover as Davis Vasquez walks. Our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. Most improved scoring. How about Lawal? Well, there's uh, Lawal and Aminu, Aminu both there in too. there. So two of the three top improved guys in terms of scoring are on the floor for Georgia Tech today. Clinch again from three. Can't get it to go down. And Aminu knocks it out of bounds. You know, Clinch comes into this game shooting less than 27 percent from beyond the arc and i know that you've got to take threes to eventually make threes but possibly getting a little bit closer to the basket would be advisable here for clinch mosley pinches it a little bit ball still loose tech comes up with it maryland's strategy has been to take the ball to the basket but so far they haven't been able to finish very effectively bang georgia tech with its largest lead of the game 10 to 4 and that'll draw a timeout for the maryland terrapins it's a 7-0 run by Tech. 
And Maryland's really had a problem, Tim, shooting the ball today. Now, these aren't easy shots. That was a shot inside against tough defense. That is a defended three-point basket. Here's Dave Neal again with somebody running. And Maryland only shooting two for 11 from the field. That was a bad miss from three-point range. Keep in mind, they only shot 28% in the second half in their loss on Wednesday. And there's the numbers we were telling you about. And Wednesday's loss, in addition to shooting 28% overall in the second half, only one for 14 from beyond the arc for the game. Gravis Vasquez was five for 21 shooting for the Terrapins. And with all that said, Dan, Maryland still had a 14-point lead with 12 minutes to go and let it slip away. Gary Williams still hot about that, and that turnover by Mosley has a little frustration shown. Uh, right at the moment, Gary Williams' guys look a little bit discombobulated out there. They just haven't settled into a rhythm for the game. And it, the game is very hard when the ball's not going in the basket, and that's the problem afflicting Maryland right now. It's going to be interesting to see how Georgia Tech plays with a the lead. They've been coming from behind all season. Nice pass. Mosley comes down with it. Terrapin's got numbers. Right side, Tucker, reverse layup, can't get it to go. Made that harder than he had to be. Ahead to Donnie Lawal. 12 to 4, Georgia Tech. Donnie. Tucker elected to take that ball underneath the basket, and maybe his momentum was too much, but looked to me like he could have just laid that one in. Terrapins have to wake up. Sleepwalking out here. It's a 9 0 Yellow Jacket run. Vasquez off to the left again. Starting to dial it in, though. The first one was an air ball. Mosley. And again, Maryland to Vasquez. Bucket of count will go to the line. That was a nice fast break by Maryland. Great catch by Vasquez at the end of this break. Mosley does a nice job hustling and then... As the wherewithal to pitch it ahead. That was a very difficult pass right there by Tucker. Vasquez does a nice job to catch it and lay it in while drawing the foul. Now Vasquez is a 93% free throw shooter and hits nothing but net on that one. That's 30 in a row for Vasquez now from the free throw line. 58 for 62 on the season. Mo Miller in the ball game now. Miller is a 6'2 sophomore from Memphis who broke his nose in mid-December. This is his first game back. There are the numbers on Mo Miller as he comes back. Had a mild concussion wearing it. We talked, Dan and I talked with him before the ball game. He's not comfortable with that mask yet. All tell text of war. Well, fans, you get your cell phones ready. It's time for our interactive feature called the All Tell Text of War. We want you to answer this question. Hey, right, text your answer. Big game tomorrow night. I guess North Carolina is A1. Wake Forest. So yeah, exactly. You text A1 or A2 to 55333. Well, I'm glad you are uh, up with all this text. Well, if, you, if you know how to do that, I have no idea how to do it, but my children do. Carolina Wake Forest will get the attention of a lot of folks, I'll guarantee you that. So make sure you text and be a part of the war as Melbourne drops down that two ball. Maryland's, dying. Maryland's been much better with their early offense and in transition rather than when they try to set it up in the half court. Man-to-man -man defense for Maryland. From beyond the arc, that one is good. And Nick Foreman, who just checked in, bangs the three ball and gives it a 15-9 lead for Tech. Georgia Tech is also last in the ACC in three-point baskets made, but they're ringing them up today. Three out of six. Hayes off balance. Boy, one he, thing, just, he just looks uncomfortable on the offensive end. Dan, one thing you can see, Paul Hewitt was talking about not being deep on the bench, and that's forced him not to press as much this year. But he does know with Maryland, with their press, he wants to get a lot of guys in the ball game. And he's getting them in and out early. Here's the turnover, and the wall throws it down. Now, Bowie tried to force his way with the dribble through a couple of Georgia Tech players. Didn't work out for him. Pitched the ball ahead. This is where Maryland has struggled in their set half-court offense. Vasquez has it blocked, the whistle before the shot. 
11-28 to play in the first half, 17-9, Georgia Tech. They went on a 9-0 run. Terps trying to answer. That's good. Drinkability, my friend. Drinkability means Bud Light won't fill you up. So you got plenty of room for your favorite festival cuisine, you know, like funnel cakes, turkey legs, my personal favorite, baba ganoush. What's baba ganoush? No idea, but it sounds cool. Dude, draw your own food. Never filling, always refreshing. Bud Light, the difference is drinkability. This weighs a ton. With an RBC Bank personal or business money market account, you get a guaranteed interest rate that can help you create something very valuable these days. Peace of mind. So come to your local RBC Bank now through the end of February and secure a 2.25% annual percentage yield on an FDIC-insured money market account. Then, imagine what the security of RBC Bank can help you create. Could your home be more energy efficient? Find out how with Save the Watts Guy from Progress Energy. Like saving energy and money? I've got the tips and programs you need. Meet me at savethewatts.com and I'll show you how to get started with a free home energy check. From Progress Energy, because it's your wallet, it's your world. Save the Watts. Ford's Employee Pricing Plus has been extended through January 12th. It's the final days to pay what we pay on every Ford car, truck, SUV, and crossover. Plus, get up to $6,000 cash back now through January 12th or get a special introductory offer on the all-new 09 F-150. It's your last chance to get a Ford Super Duty with Employee Pricing Plus and save over $12,000. It all ends January 12th. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Well, Georgia Tech has six guys in the box score already. Maryland has only two. Landon Milburn and Grievous Vasquez. Barry Williams trying to wake up the rest of his ball club. Oh, you're right. Between Milbourne and Vasquez, they're shooting the ball four of six. Everybody else, 0 oh for 10. And Maryland, you know, as a team, they're four for 16 shooting the ball. It's just, I don't care who you're playing or where you're playing. It's, you can't win games shooting 25%. Well, this is normally the place to get them at the line with Grievous Vasquez. Now has hit 59 of his 63 free throws this year. Second team all ACC as a sophomore. He's leading the Terrapins today as he goes out and Mosley checks back in. Terrapins full court press. No problem. Clinch. Smartly resets. There's Miller. It'll be interesting to watch him to see how long he can play, how effectively he can play. He's been out for a month. And how well he adjusts to that mask. He's fouled as he goes up for the shot. Well, certainly he wasn't worried about getting hit on the nose because he drove the ball right into the <laughs> middle of the lane. He said he's over that. He's just trying to get used to that thing on his face. Fouls on Bowie. So Mo Miller has been out since mid-December, a 63% free throw shooter. As we mentioned, Georgia Tech coming in only 59% as a team from the free throw line. Sophomore from Memphis, Texas has another one coming. And hits that. Georgia Tech by seven. Mosley is fouled. Bucky won't count. Officials today, Ed Corbett, Roger Ayers, and Pat Adams. Sean Mosley is a young man who, you know, we talk about poor shooting. He's only shooting 30% on the year, and that was a good idea he had that time to try to drive the ball to the basket. Big, strong kid. He ought to be able to get the ball to the goal. Way out front to Hayes. Miller was contesting him. Gary Williams calls out the offense, and Hazel reset. Oh, 
Bowie down in the corner to Hayes. Shot clock at 13. Bowie from the top of the key. That's nice offense. Good open shot, but they just didn't knock it down. And a lob pass to Lawal, and he can't slam it. Bowie misses the layup. Gary Williams just shakes his head. And you can understand why he would shake his head. Everything was perfect on that play, except he missed the layup. Here's the lob pass. This one where the ball's thrown a little bit behind the wall, and he's going to learn to catch the ball, come down, and go up and dunk it. You don't have to make the spectacular play. Maryland now shooting four for 18. And in the last couple of minutes, anyway, the problem hasn't been the shots they've been getting. They're just not knocking them down. That's out of stores. He looks for the shot, comes up short. So you just got to keep playing if you're Maryland. Georgia Tech does not shoot the ball very well, so you figure if you just keep going up and down, you're going to get some opportunities to get back in the game. Maryland in absolutely no hurry offensively. Just trying to figure things out here against the Yellow Jackets. Vasquez kicks it out. There's Neal, and Neal hits the shot for two points. So it's 18-13 Tech. Tim, that's what I was talking about. A couple of passes, penetration into the lane. The defense has to collapse, and Neal taking that little jump shot where he steps out. It's exactly what you'd like to have if you're Maryland. Double team Schumbert, and they turn it over. And the foul's going to be on Schumbert. Paul Hewitt is really upset. He's telling the officials that he was trying to call a timeout while Schumpert was involved in that trap, and the officials didn't recognize the timeout, Schumpert tries to throw it off the leg of Hayes and then fouls him, and that's two fouls now on Schumpert, and that's got to be a matter of concern for Paul Hewitt. Iman Schumpert, a 6'5 freshman out of Oak Park, Illinois. And the officials are just telling Paul Hewitt, well, you know, I'm sorry, we didn't see it. A lot of turnovers in the game so far. Returning for the Yellow Jackets, number three. Yeah, you're absolutely right, though. Both teams, looks like they're fighting to find a rhythm. Both are out of sync. Vasquez. But, Tim, it's hard to get rhythm if you're not shooting the ball well. Maryland now 0 for 7 from behind the arc. I think I'd put that one away for a while. Take twos. Get closer. This is Miller. Goes inside to Amino and throws it away. Eight, Eight turnovers, turnovers now for Georgia Tech. And what you have to remember about Miller is he hasn't played in game action in a month, has only practiced a couple of times. So his timing and his being in sync with his teammates is going to be a little off here, I think. Nine minutes to play in the first half here at the Comcast Center. Tim Grant and Dan Bonner with you. Here's Dave Neal. Follow inside is good. And I think that's what Mosley can give him, that physical strength from the guard spot. He can overpower guys on the inside, and he did that time. They expect great things out of Mosley. He's a freshman, taken away by Hayes. Another turnover. Terrapins have cut it to three. Gregory looks oh, inside nice. to Vasquez. Great cut by Gravis Vasquez. Vasquez with nine points. Timeout, Georgia Tech. Welcome back to ACC play. Tim, it's what I was talking about. You can't get discouraged if you're Maryland. You have to keep playing. And here they get the ball down the court. It's a transition situation. And Dino Gregory's out there in the corner. He doesn't know what to do with it. But Vasquez gives him an opportunity by running right down the middle of the lane. It's been a game of runs. Georgia Tech went on a 9 nothing run. Now Maryland on an 8-1 run. And the lead is 18-17. And when Maryland has had success today, Tim, they've had it in transition. They've had it off turnovers. They've had it taking the ball to the basket. They double down on the wall, and he walks. And, Tim, interestingly enough, we talked about the advantage that Georgia Tech might have on the inside, but they haven't been able to exploit it yet. That is now 10 turnovers in the game for Georgia Tech. Nick Foreman comes into the game for the Yellow Jackets. And I think that that's at least three or four that have been traveling violations. Very first possession. Travel. They've had three since. 
It's hard to trap Vasquez. Georgia Tech back to the man-to-man. -man. He walked. A lot of guys have that habit. Pick it up on the playground where they shuffle the pivot foot. After it's been established. You can see that Maryland, their first inclination today is to try to attack Georgia Tech off the dribble. And this has not been an artistically played game. Combined, the teams have 13 field goals and 15 turnovers. You know, we talked about that before the game, though. Normally, when these two teams get together, get an ugly basketball game. They both are tenacious. They both try to get you off the dribble. A lot of turnovers. Not the best shooting teams. And the wall is fouled. No, he no he travel. Travel. So another turnover by the Yellow Jackets. It was 7.41 to play in the first half. One point game. Hey, what are you guys doing? Fashion! Playing with my ham radio? Trying out these giant stills! Aren't you afraid that you're going to get struck by... You think that's surprising? Get this. Diet Dew has all the intensity of regular Dew. It's none of the calories. Options are good. Shiny. And when you shop for groceries, you sure have plenty to choose from. Flashy. If you're looking for good food that's also a good value, switch and save with Foodline brand products. You'll enjoy national brand quality at a much more affordable price. Satisfaction guaranteed. Foodline brand products. National brand quality. Better price guaranteed. If you're injured in an accident, their insurance company will try to pay you as little money as they can. Don't let them take advantage of you. I'm Ryan Science. The insurance companies don't want you to know what your case is really worth. Call our injury hotline first. Don't be a victim twice. Just call Science Kirk and Miles. They have the experience and they know what it takes to get what you deserve. Call 1 800 Lawyers 24 hours a day or visit youhaveaLawyer.com. If you have a phone or a computer, you have a lawyer. 1 800 Lawyers. This is an important announcement. Adventure Dental and Vision is now serving Baltimore's children. Call now for an appointment, 727-4746. Adventure Dental provides general dentistry for children and young adults. We accept most insurances, and Medicaid is always welcome. Call right now, 727-4746. Adventure Dental is child-friendly, and parents are welcome in the treatment areas. Adventure Dental, now taking appointments at 727-4746. At Adventure Dental, no smiles are left behind. The Maryland Terrapins on a bit of a run here have cut it to one. And what you see is Gravis Vasquez gets it in the middle, then gets an open outside shot, an offensive rebound by Mosley, and then the basket in transition. A great look by Eric Hayes, and then Dino Gregory finds Vasquez going in the basket. The Maryland Terrapins have cut the lead to one. See, they've done a pretty good job. They've made three of their last eight, still excuse me, three of their last five. Still have a bad case of the overs though from beyond the arc, over eight. Well, don't worry about going out there. Get inside the arc. Maryland's had their best success when they've taken the ball to the basket. One point game, Yellow Jackets by one. Had a tough time getting it across the timeline and you know Gregory's pass is knocked out of bounds. Aminu plays the point of that press. He moves his feet very effectively and he's got such long arms, it's tough to see around him. Vasquez brings it back out. Neal looks inside to Vasquez. And a jump ball tied up there. Possession arrow belongs to Maryland. Shot clock will stay at seven seconds. Vasquez does a nice job moving without the basketball in that Maryland offense coming around on the inside. Remember, he's six feet six. He's a big kid. He can post up in there. Shot clock down to two as Hayes throws an off-balance shot. Gary Williams wanted goaltending. Under seven minutes we go in the first half. That's a good defensive set by Georgia Tech. 
Poor recognition, by the way, of Maryland on the shot clock. Didn't get off a good shot. Boy, Dave Neal working really hard inside against Donnie LaWall. Here's Clint, shot clock down to eight. They recognize it, go inside the LaWall, and the jump hook is good. I'm telling you, LaWall worked really hard to get that basket. That was pretty good defense by Dave Neal. He just kept moving without the ball. Wall now has six points to go along with his four rebounds. He's been every bit the factor we thought he would be. And Georgia Tech has been very effective getting everybody in the game as far as scoring. Six guys in the box score already. Here's Vasquez. Every time Gravis touches it, he draws a lot of attention. Hayes, it's another missed three. Clinch, stop, pop, bang. So now Georgia Tech has answered the Maryland run. Tucker, no foul call. Wow, he, took, physical. he took that ball as a bad, another walk. Bad job to take the ball into that kind of traffic. Although you're right, there is a traveling violation. Well, RBC Bank and the ACC have teamed up on the Tribute to Teachers program. 50 special teachers will be selected to win $500 in classroom cash with one grand prize winner receiving a $2,000 educational supply shopping spree. Visit rbcbankusa.com slash tribute for more details. Milburn. Terrapins just shaking their heads. Oh, that's a great shot, and that's a shot Milborn normally knocks down. Yeah, he's really able to hit. He's very good from that distance with that particular shot. Terrapins 7 for 27. And now Joel, Georgia Tech starting to assert itself inside, mainly because Ghani Lawal is so active in there. You know, if a big guy just stands around, he's a little easier to guard, but Lawal keeps moving. Huge height difference in this ball game. Terrapin's tenacious in the wall. Uh, and that's, that's just unfortunate right there. Milburn and Bowie doing a great job hustling after the basketball, but they caused a turnover because they got tangled up. Maryland now 0 for 10 from beyond the arc. So remember, we showed you before they were 1 for 14 from beyond the arc on Wednesday night in their loss to Morgan State. And now here in the first 15 minutes plus of the first half, they're 0 for 10. Terrapin's now on the floor have Tucker, Mosley, Vasquez, Milborn, and Neal. Mosley with the steal. Terrapins have the numbers. Three on two. Mosley takes it himself. And he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. A couple of good plays by Mosley. First of all, to get the steal and then to power his way to the basket before the defense can get set. Georgia Tech now 13 turnovers. This broadcast is a copyrighted presentation and a use of it without the express permission of Raycom Sports and the ACC is prohibited. Sean Mosley, 6'4", true freshman out of Baltimore, four-time All-Met, only four-time All-Met in the state of Maryland other than Adrian Dantley. And a lot of people think he reminds them of Dantley. Player of the year in Baltimore last year. He's obviously a very good talent, but he's had a little trouble adjusting, I think, to the, the speed of the college game. I don't think anybody would disagree with that, Dan. You're right. And he bangs the second one down. But it just showed you the kind of skill that he brings. He's got strength. He's got quickness. He made a really nice defensive play and got the ball to the goal. His foul is going to be called on Nick Foreman. Clemson Tigers leading in that game in the first half over NC State. That's a pretty low scoring game for the Clemson Tigers with three minutes left in the first half. That's a very good Clemson team. And the interesting thing about Clemson, they're the kind of a team I think they can play the up tempo, they can play the slower tempo. Dan, you know, it's interesting. We were talking about North Carolina, Duke, and Wake Forest. You mentioned Clemson. Coming in here today, and this is the first ACC game of the year for Maryland, the second for Georgia Tech, and yet all the fans want to talk about is the tournament. 
and they talk about how bad that Morgan State loss was the other day. And you know what? They're they're probably right when you think about that being a bad loss. But it's awfully early to be talking about the the tournament. Well, the NCAA tournament is what you're the talking about. The big dance, March Madness. But that's what we do anymore in this country. We're you know we're not so concerned about what's going on now. We want to know what's going to happen two weeks from now. Vasquez drives off balance. The foul inside by Dupree is no good. Boy, and again, Dupree gets his hands on the ball close to the basket and can't finish. Clinch for three. Yes. Gary Williams wants a 30-second timeout. Tech now four for eight beyond the arc. All right. Dan, let's update the all-tell text of War Poll. We're asking you. Your thoughts on this game, which is coming up between Carolina and Wake Forest, both highly regarded, both highly ranked. You see the results of as of right now. We want you to add your voice to that vote. Just text your answer to A1 or A2 to 55333. And thanks for participating in all text. Text of war, but that should be fun. Well, that'll be a very good game tomorrow night at Wake Forest. Of course, you never want to get Carolina after a loss. And just six days ago, they lost to Boston College, which I think surprised a lot of people, although Boston College is awfully good. Georgia Tech with its largest lead at nine. Terrapin's looking for the first bucket in almost five minutes. And Mosley throws it away. Well, the 6'9", Ghani Lawal, the sophomore from Georgia, has him off to a pretty good start, Dan. Oh, man, that's good. It's drinkability. Let me explain. According to my poll, 41% thought drinkability meant the ability to drink. 26% said, easy to swallow. One guy in Boston told me to get out of his yard. Actually, drinkability means that Bud Light is just the right taste. This is one of your nicer maps. Not too heavy, not too light. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. I do. I exercise daily. Um, I do. My Ruby Tuesday's handcrafted triple prime burgers are the best of the best. Made with three cuts of prime beef, ground fresh. 25 great burgers with endless fries starting at $5.99. The new Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. That's the money you could be saving with Geico. What? I know. Geico. Tell me who's watching. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. See this guy or this guy? Or this gal? Almost anyone can create a one-of-a-kind ACC tournament experience. Just go to RBC Bank, ask about a personal or business money market account, and enter the RBC Bank Shoot for Loot at the ACC Tournament Sweepstakes. Win a trip for two and VIP tickets to the ACC Tournament. Go from the crowd to the court and win cash by sinking shots from here, over here, and back here. Make all five and win this. And it all starts by going here. RBC Bank. For complete rules and details, visit an RBC Bank branch or rbcbankusa.com slash shoot for loot. Ruby Tuesday's handcrafted minis are bold on flavor and big on taste. Beef, turkey, and crab cake minis. Our new mini trio. 25 great burgers with endless fries starting at $5.99. The new Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. Donnie Lawal has begun to assert himself for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, and he's showing you the wide variety of his skills, the ability to run out in transition and obviously finish close to the basket. But he's done a great job here, particularly in the last five minutes or so, of operating inside. Dave Neal a little stronger in there, but Lawal plenty strong enough, and he's also quick and keeps moving and working. It's paid off so far, eight points, four rebounds. And he's getting those high percentage shots, or shooting 53%. And Maryland just 7 of 30, so they can't hit the broad side of the barn. Well, Maryland's missed its last seven shot opportunities. That's the main reason for the Georgia Tech 9-1 run that they're on right at the moment. And Maryland's still in it because 14 turnovers by the Jackets. Only 19 shots. 
Aminu throws underneath, and Georgia Tech turns it over again. By that time, it's forcing it inside. Aminu, it's a good idea to try to throw it in there to Ghani Lawal, but it's better when he's open. Another one of those turnovers we were just talking about. They just aren't getting the shots offensively. Mosley back to Vasquez. One thing about Mosley, he's a freshman, but he plays with a lot of confidence. Neal left alone. Seven for 31. That's really good defense inside by Milborn. Nice pass to Bowie. And the feed back to Mosley who made the shot over his head. Plus one. And Tim, he got whacked. We're talking about the young man's strength. And it, you can really see it right there. A good defensive play by Milburn to knock the ball away. And Gra Gravis Vasquez makes a great pass in transition. And you can see Mosley, he's able to catch the ball and power it to the basket. Six feet four and powerfully built. Really helped him that time. And that's what he needs to do. You know, he struggled with his shooting early in his college career. Get the ball to the basket. Use that strength to score inside. He's now got six points in the game. And an incredibly bright future. Maryland fans very optimistic about the future with a great recruiting class coming in next year and Mosley being just a freshman. Boy, another turnover by Georgia Tech. 17, and we've still got two and a half minutes left in the first half. Hayes brings it in to Neal. Knocked away. Terrapins have to feel pretty good when they get to the clubhouse, and this thing is... Still well within reach and in single digits and shooting seven for 31. Here's Neal beyond the arc. Way left. Maryland now 0 for 12 from the bonus field. Clinch for three. Lewall with the follow. Georgia Tech now has 11 turnovers in the last 16 possessions. Neal. So somehow the Terrapins, despite shooting wounds, are climbing back into it. 27-23. Their first turnovers, they battled on the offensive boards. Another tough shot by Eric Hayes, but Neal and Milborn kept it alive in there. This foul will be on Milborn for the push from behind. That's a very, very difficult matchup. Olade Aminu, 6 feet 10, very long inside, and Milborn... A small six, a slight six seven. Stores goes out of the ball game. Mo Miller checks back in for the Yellow Jackets. Jin Su Kim in the game for Maryland. You know, Gary Williams likes him a lot, thinks he's going to be a good player. Joe Harrington says he's a fine shooter. He's just trying to figure out the game. Well, if he's a fine shooter, Gary Williams could use him in this game. No, there's no question about that. He may be the first Korean to ever play D1 basketball. Schumpert underneath. Power move gets him two. Schumpert, you know, we're talking about Mosley being a big, strong kid. The same would apply to Schumpert. He just forced his way to the basket against Vasquez. There he is. 0 for 12. It's hard to come in the game and take a shot right away. But that's what he's in the game for. That's his role. He's got to go in and shoot it. Another turnover for Tech. Back to Hayes. Left alone. Back. Three-pointer of the game for Maryland. Trips back within three. Aminu makes the jump hook and he's fouled. That was just terrific ball movement by Georgia Tech. They passed up a couple of outside jump shots and then a great pass inside to Aminu. 
Hasn't heard, haven't heard very much from him today. He's got four points, but eight rebounds. But he did a great job getting position. His teammates found him. That's just great ball movement. I think you described him as a long, big, smooth man, and uh, or a long, smooth big man. <laughs> but he's, he showed it there with that jump hook as he stepped away from the basket. Returning to the yellow jackets for Nick Foreman. Shot clock off. The Terrapins can hold it for one. I think it's psychologically it would really help Maryland if they can score in this last possession. Oh, I don't think any question about that. Terrapins have shot so poorly here in the first half. Six seconds for Vasquez. Off balance. Misses the shot. Neal follows. Won't go down. And that'll do it. Well, that about summarizes the first half for Maryland. So the Maryland Terrapins leave the floor the first half shooting 25% from the floor. 18 turnovers for Georgia Tech, but Paul Hewitt's got a 31-26 lead as we go into intermission. We'll be back with more from the Comcast Center in College Park after this. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Geico, by Toyota, by Chick-fil-A, by Progress Energy, by Gatorade, and by Ruby Tuesday. Success never comes easy. It's the result of hard work, character, and a commitment to doing it right. Student athletes of the Atlantic Coast Conference meet these goals every day in their drive for excellence in the classroom and athletic competition. The official corporate partners of the ACC salute all the student athletes as they follow their dreams today, tomorrow, and beyond. Like golf? Then you're going to love the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail Courses in North Alabama. And while you're here, check out the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville. Spend a weekend with us, and you'll discover some of the best golf on the planet. Or anywhere else, for that matter. For more information, visit 800alabama.com. Try Chick-fil-A's Tasty Chicken Biscuits, Chicken Minis, or Breakfast Burritos. Ford's Employee Pricing Plus has been extended through January 12th. It's the final days to pay what we pay on every Ford car, truck, SUV, and crossover. Plus, get up to $6,000 cash back now through January 12th. Or get a special introductory offer on the all-new 09 F-150. It's your last chance to get a Ford Super Duty with Employee Pricing Plus and save over $12,000. It all ends January 12th. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Our Ruby Tuesday Play of the Week comes from Sunday night in Chapel Hill. It was the play of senior guard Tyrese Rice and the rest of his Boston College teammates that knocked off number one North Carolina 85-78. Rice led all scorers with 25 points while dishing out eight assists, and he was aided by Rakeem Sanders, who scored 22, while Reggie Jackson added 17. Congratulations to the BC Eagles for our Ruby Tuesday Play of the Week. Well, Georgia Tech outshot Maryland in the first half. Lewis Clinch from the Bonusphere bangs it down for the three ball. Maryland shot only 25% in that first half, and it cost him. They trail at half. 
31-26, our score here. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tim Brandt, along with Dan Bonner. Not a well-played first half, really, by the Maryland Terrapins, and, of course, a lot of turnovers for Georgia Tech. Well, it wasn't an artistically played first half. I thought that it was played with tremendous intensity, the kind of intensity that you, you expect in an ACC game. Maryland is in the game despite their poor shooting because they were able to force those turnovers. And Georgia Tech, despite the fact that their defense was great in terms of preventing Maryland from making a lot of shots, they turned it over. So, But I think it's pretty intense on both sides. Yeah, I don't, I don't question that at all. Let's take a look at the Bud Light scoreboard, Dan. Take us through some of these scores. Clemson out in front of NC State, which is expected. Well, but Booker has nine points in the first half. That's a pretty low-scoring first half uh, for the Clemson Tigers. You can see Tennessee, that's a pretty close game with Georgia on the, you know, that's a high-scoring game, though. You can see Louisville at Villanova. That's a really impressive halftime score right there for Louisville. And then West Virginia and Marquette. That Big East up and down is going to be really, really tough this year. Providence later on at Georgetown and Michigan State and Kansas. That's a heck of a non-conference game. Georgetown looking for its first Big East win of the year. Lost a couple in a row here to get the conference play started. And this is a team people think may make it all the way to the Final Four. We'll have more from College Park right after this. My school. My sport. My United Way. This is where it all begins. This is what matters. The ACC and United Way. Building healthier communities. Options are good. Shiny. Oh. And when you shop for groceries, you sure have plenty to choose from. Flashy. If you're looking for good food that's also a good value, switch and save with Foodline brand products. You'll enjoy national brand quality at a much more affordable price. Satisfaction guaranteed. Foodline brand products. National brand quality. Better price guaranteed. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Wake up, people! Pepsi Max. Maximum taste, maximum energy, zero calories. Stop it! As a kid, if I needed spending money, my parents made me earn it. So by the age of 10, I had my own little business. I hated that lot more. <laughs> After basketball, I went back into business, surrounded by some pretty smart people. You don't have to go it alone either. Jackson Hewitt knows taxes. In fact, nine out of 10 of their customers get a refund. Nine out of 10? That's a team you want on your side. Jackson Hewitt, a partner and a path. Details. I went into the St. John's Hall of Fame. Welcome back inside, everybody. The Comcast Center as you look at the National Championship Trophy. The Maryland won back in the early 2000s. And there's our score, 31-26. Maryland, though, just 10 of 40 shots. That's it. Here in the first half, 18 turnovers by Georgia Tech. ACC fans take control of the game. Log on to the ACC.com to visit the Jack Sports for real-time stats, photos, play-by-play, -play, chat, and a whole lot more. Well, if you're checking on there now, you saw that Maryland did not shoot very well in that first half. Georgia Tech turned the ball over, but the size differential with Lawal inside has really made a difference here against the Maryland Terrapins. But the Maryland Terrapins just down five, obviously, and they got to feel pretty good about themselves. As if you look at the Toyota ACC standings, Clemson, Duke, Boston College, and the Cavaliers of Virginia with their win over Georgia Tech still unbeaten. Of course, Wake Forest, everybody's talking about the Demon Deacons. North Carolina with their loss to Boston College surprised everybody. And Maryland playing its first ACC conference game here today. Maryland, though, off to an 11-3 start and trying to put it together here in College Park. Eric Hayes helped. Watch this pass from Vasquez to Hayes, who drains the three ball. The only one today made it a five-point game. We'll be back with more after this. Along the trajectory... A projectile traveling in motion.
These days, reliability is the new cool, which I guess makes Toyota Camry owners pretty trendy. When it comes to dependability, nothing else even compares. Yeah, Toyota Camry comes with all the bells and whistles, too, because it turns out reliability is even cooler when you can start it without a key. Nothing compares to the Toyota Camry, the number one selling car in America. Visit your local Toyota dealer today and get 0% APR financing for 36 months on new 09 Camry models. Toyota, moving forward. Hi, Sky. What have you got there? Oh, uh, just an award from J.D. Power & Associates. Verizon Fios TV ranked highest in overall customer satisfaction. What you got? It's Kung Pao chicken. Ah, so it's Chinese. It's uh, chicken from China. It's a delicacy. With over 100 HD channels, Verizon Fios ranked highest in overall customer satisfaction by J.D. Power & Associates. This is Fios. This is big. After an accident, the insurance company can be so focused on profits, they forget you're an innocent victim. I'm Ryan Science. The insurance companies don't want you to know what your case is really worth. Call our injury hotline first. Don't be a victim twice. When you're hurt, call Science Kirk and Miles. They'll look out for you. Call 1-800-LAWYERS 24 hours a day or visit youhavealawyer.com. If you have a phone or a computer, you have a lawyer. 1-800-LAWYERS. about the mysterious blur saving lives in Metropolis. Smallville, all new Thursday, January 15th. Geico presents this ACC moment. For the 10th consecutive year, the ACC has won the challenge with the Big Ten Conference. Though the last two years have been won handily, this year was a close matchup with the ACC winning six games to five. Congratulations to the ACC on its decade of dominance over the Big Ten in our Geico ACC moment. Meanwhile, coming up on Wednesday at 9 o'clock, some of you will see these Maryland Terrapins travel down to Miami to take on Jack McClinton and the Miami Hurricanes. And others will see Dino Gaudio's undefeated Wake Forest Demon Deacons head north to meet Boston College. Tyrese Rice, they upset number one North Carolina on Sunday. Two great games next Wednesday. Just go to theacc.com for more information on those ball games. Well, five-point game here, 31-26. Georgia Tech, despite all their turnovers, 18 in that first half. Maryland's poor shooting, still a pretty close ball game. Well, it is a close ball game, and there's some real statistical anomalies. Maryland has had 17 more field goal attempts, yet two fewer field goals. I don't know that I've ever seen that in the first half in any game. But, you know, Maryland's really struggled shooting the ball at 25%, 10 for 40. It's hard to win basketball games when you shoot it like that. Well, plus you didn't like the shot selection as we go to the highlights. But when you're talking about Georgia Tech, I think you've got to look at the fact that they really did use Donnie Lawal effectively on the inside. Lawal had eight points in the first half. Lewis Clinch had seven. And Maryland, they had their best success when they drove the ball to the basket, as you see Gravis Vasquez do right here, and out in transition. Mosley hits that, and he made a free throw to complete that three-point play. But some bizarre-looking statistics. You can see Maryland only shooting 25% overall, one for 14 from beyond the three-point arc. But Georgia Tech with those 18 turnovers, that's why it's a close game. Second half, look for the same from Georgia Tech, banging it inside the wall. How about Maryland? Do they drive a little bit more? Well, I think it's very difficult for Maryland. I mean, you can have your plan, let's beat them out on the perimeter, but when you got a Lawal and Aminu down underneath the basket, it's hard to get all the way to the goal. What you might see Maryland try to do is beat out the perimeter defense, pull up and shoot the jump shots. Well, we're just about set for the second half here in College Park. 31-26, Georgia Tech over Maryland. Ruby Tuesday's handcrafted triple prime burgers are the best of the best. Made with three cuts of prime beef, ground fresh. 25 great burgers with endless fries starting at $5.99. The new Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. If you look at the last six months, I think you'll agree that the production growth opportunity that we have for us would... What is that? That, that's the money you could be saving with Geico. Tell me who's watching, watching, watching. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 
Wherever you see greatness, there's much you don't see. The path that led to the goal, the support of others, and the careful way everything's choreographed to create an effortless end. Fueled by 150 years of teamwork between alumni, students, faculty, and staff, the University of Maryland is now a leading public research university. And together, there's so much more we can do. The University of Maryland. Fear the turtle. Ruby Tuesday's handcrafted minis are bold on flavor and big on taste. Beef, turkey, and crab cake minis. Our new mini trio. 25 great burgers with endless fries starting at $5.99. The new Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. It's Essendon. The insurance company won't tell you what your case is really worth. You need someone looking out for you. I'm Ryan Science. The insurance companies have their own lawyers and investigators. If you don't have a lawyer on your side, they call all the shots. Our 35 years of experience puts you in control. Just call Science Kirk and Miles. They know what it takes to get what you deserve. Call 1-800-LAWYERS 24 hours a day. If you have a phone or a computer, you have a lawyer. 1-800-LAWYERS. ACC Basketball is brought to you by Haviland. By Red Lobster. By your Carolina Jeep dealers. By Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society. By Sonic Drive-In. By Toyota. And by RBC Bank. Well, despite the fact that the students don't come back to school to the 26th, we've got a pretty good representation here today. And I want to remind you that ACC basketball is presented in high definition. We're available by MFS Investment Management, a diverse range of products so advisors can choose what fits. And that high def, I'm sure, is appreciated by the students that haven't made it back yet and are watching the Terrapins and the Yellow Jackets here this afternoon. Gary Williams in his 20th year took over in 1989 here, taking the turf to 12 NC2A tournament berths in the last 15 years, couple of Final Fours, the 2002 National Championship. Like to get back to that big dance. Well, he's working hard to do it. He took over a Maryland program that was literally in shambles. And he's done an amazing job here at Maryland, but it's, I don't care how good a coach you are, if your team shoots 10 for 40 in the first half, it's hard to look good. Paul Hewitt in his ninth year already at Georgia Tech. He's won 151 games during that time. Hard to believe he's been at Tech nine years already. Yellow Jackets with the ball. This is Clinch. Drifts to the right elbow. Tough shot. Gets it to go down. It comes back out. And that's now ten rebounds in the game for Alade Aminu. And one of the things that's a problem for your defense is if a guard can take and penetrate in the lane, draw the v defense to you, if he misses the shot and you've got big guys inside who are rebounders, and we mentioned Aminu now is 10 in the game, really makes it difficult. It's hard to block out when you're trying to help against somebody driving to the basket and you're trying to rotate to cover up other guys. Somebody's going to be open. Landon Milburn has just picked up his third personal, so he leaves the ball game. And Dino Gregory, the sophomore from Baltimore, checks in for Gary Williams. And Milbourne, you know, you talk about the Terrapin shooting woes. Milbourne was three for four in the first half. Milbourne averages 13.5 rebounds, so it's not good to have him sitting with three. Here's Hayes to Vasquez. Neal. And that should be good, it is. And that's a very good play by Dave Neal right there. In the first half, Neal was one for eight shooting the ball. And the problem there is the eight. He should not be taking eight three-point shots in the first half. He drives the ball to the basket, gets the ball up, and gets the goal tent. Vasquez takes it away. Another turnover for the Jackets. Chumper just out hustled Vasquez to that ball. Vasquez was worried about an over and back. And Chumper just beat him to the ball. He on a little bit quicker and it ends up at two points. And now Holiday Aminu has asserted himself here early in the second half. He scored all four of the Georgia Tech points. Eric Hayes has been very quiet for the Maryland Terrapins. He's got three points.
And the whistle and the foul underneath. So Bowie will go to the line to shoot two. And as you can see in a continuation of the Maryland game plan from the first half, they're still looking to attack off the dribble. The problem is they've shot the ball so poorly from the perimeter, you can't just attack off the dribble and drive the ball to the basket. You've got, got to be able to hit some of those perimeter shots. Lance Stores was called for the foul. There's nothing like college basketball, and if you're celebrating the win, do it right. The way you celebrate says a lot about your school and you. So be responsible. Take care of yourself and your friends. A message from Anheuser-Busch. 35-29. Another turnover. Paul Hewitt is thinking that maybe his guy got tripped. Well, I think Maryland really needs to get some offense from Eric Hayes. And the Yellow Jackets picking it up a little bit defensively. Vasquez drives the lane, can't get it to go down, stores with a rebound. See, that was a close shot, Tim, but that was not a good shot. A really difficult shot. Boy, Luol with a bucket inside, and you're right, they're starting to use their height down low on Maryland. Well, Luol is so active, and he's stronger than he looks. Almost to the double-double, that was his 10th point. Vasquez again drives and scores with the left hand. Another tough, 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 tough shot. I think Georgia Tech has to be pretty happy if they can limit Maryland to that kind of shot. Yellow Jack is playing well here in the second half. Again, a wall underneath. That one's contested. Back to Hayes. And nothing there, so Vasquez now, I believe, will reset. Nice job by Georgia Tech to get back quickly. See, Maryland really doesn't have that guy you can throw it to on the inside. Whoa, what a move by Bowie. Adrian Bowie, a four-year starter at Montrose Christian, makes his name heard on the loudspeaker here. Clinch with the rebound. Ball still loose. There's Amino. And he's fouled. Holiday Amino. We talked about Maryland trying to attack the basket. Gravis Vasquez puts it down. Watch Aminu and Lawal both come, but he somehow gets it in the basket. And then Bowie makes a circus shot here, driving past Aminu, past the wall, Lawal, and getting it up to the basket. So Amino goes to the line, 10 points, 11 rebounds. Amino just a 53% free throw shooter. And misses that one. But another rebound, and Diang will now go to the line for two. So Basti Yang, the grad student from Senegal, will go to the line, and he's two for three this year. That's just quick, get there off. That's just quickness there. Beating the Maryland guys down along the baseline. Clangs it off the iron. Basaru Diang. Transfer from St. Francis in Pennsylvania with the Riverdale Baptist right down the road here in Maryland. Jin Su Kim back in the game for Maryland. And this foul is going to be against Georgia Tech, and it's called on Foreman. Tim, you can talk all you want about the turnovers and the poor shooting, but you can't fault the effort by either one of these teams. No, and I think that's going to be the story all year. I, I think they'll play like this most of the season through ACC play. But they're both tenacious. I mean, you'll have to work to beat them. Number off balance. See, I don't think that's a good shot. You've got to get those big guys handle the ball down inside. Dominance inside by Georgia Tech. Vasquez better be careful. He might get a technical. Pleads his case, but loses it. Well, it's, it's very difficult to block out in transition. You can see right there from that replay. He's saying the ball was knocked out by Tech. It's hard to block out in transition, and so even though that was a bad shot, Georgia Tech in good rebounding position. 
And a rebound for the Terrapins. This foul will be against Foreman. You know, you, you don't want to get one-dimensional in your offense, but with the way Aminu and Lawal have played, particularly here early in the second half, I don't know if you're Georgia Tech that you want to be shooting the ball before those guys touch it inside. The foul is the number four, Nick Foreman, is third, third on the team. 16-20 to play in the ball game. Again, Maryland doesn't have that back-to-the-basket post guy that you can throw the ball to and have him get you a tough basket. See, that means you have to rely on your outside shooting. When you're not shooting the ball well from the outside, you're in trouble. Clinch takes it all the way, scores, and he's fouled. So the foul is on Adrian Bowie. And Clinch will go to the line. Georgia Tech is a team that can play very well in transition, and Bowie sort of dared Clinch to take it to the goal. Clinch did. That's an excellent decision in transition. Clinch is their best free throw shooter, and he knocks that one down to convert the three point play. Mo Miller will check back in for Georgia Tech. Clinch will go out. Well, now Actually, the now, the, now the Terrapins will go out. Well, now the Terrapins are down nine again, and they found themselves in this situation a couple times. They've been able to battle back, and that's what they have to do. They have to keep working hard on the defensive end to try to get some easier opportunities. Hayes for three. That'll help. Derek Hayes, a 33% shooter from beyond the arc, has knocked down both for the Maryland Terrapins this afternoon. And knocked out of bounds, literally. As Aminu goes down on the floor, it'll be Maryland basketball when we come back with 15.38 to play. Hey, what are you guys doing? You're afraid that you're gonna get struck by You think that's surprising? Get this. Diet do has all the intensity of regular do. Preparing for a new baby is a life-changing experience. With so many things to take care of, it's good to know that Woodman of the World provides insurance protection and financial security that can help you protect your family's future. So all you have to think about is how you're going to enjoy the rest of your lives together. Woodman of the World, with you through life. Options are good. Shiny. And when you shop for groceries, you sure have plenty to choose from. Flashy. If you're looking for good food that's also a good value, switch and save with Foodline brand products. You'll enjoy national brand quality at a much more affordable price. Satisfaction guaranteed. Foodline brand products. National brand quality. Better price guaranteed. scored six of the 11 Georgia Tech second half points and he has established himself as an offensive force inside has a couple of rebounds he's got 10 points 11 rebounds in the game and that one two combination in there has been very effective for Georgia Tech and they've needed that one two combination because the third big guy in that combination Zach Peacock we mentioned before the game that he has uh, you know, with a flu, and he's not feeling well and hadn't played in this game today. Terrapins scores to the Maryland Terrapins. Shot 25% in the first half for now, five for eight, including two threes here after intermission. 
Paul Hewitt calls timeout with 15-23 to play. Maryland Terrapins have pulled it back within four. Paul Hewitt wants to stop Maryland's run right there. That's good. Drinkability, my friend. Drinkability means Bud Light won't fill you up. You got plenty of room for your favorite festival cuisine, you know, like funnel cakes, turkey legs, my personal favorite, baba ganoush. What's baba ganoush? No idea, but it sounds cool. Dude, draw your own food. Never filling, always refreshing. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. This weighs a ton. With an RBC Bank personal or business money market account, you get a guaranteed interest rate that can help you create something very valuable these days. Peace of mind. So come to your local RBC Bank now through the end of February and secure a 2.25% annual percentage yield on an FDIC-insured money market account. Then, imagine what the security of RBC Bank can help you create. I think I'm getting something off the everyday value menu. Yeah, me too, man. Everything's only a dollar. It's like a dollar's not a dollar. You can almost rename the dollar. Look at like this dollar's not a dollar. Okay. It's chicken strip sandwich, or yeah, this dollar is uh, you know junior deluxe burger, okay. or this is like junior Sunday, or this Great. is little okay. T-shirt. Right, this, this is, is little... annoying. You're stealing all of my money. The new everyday value menu at Sonic. Got a buck? Then drive in for a variety of great food like a Junior Deluxe Burger or grab a chicken strip sandwich for just a dollar. Sonic's new everyday value menu. All this for a buck each. The Chrysler 300C. Move outside and let the man go. The sophisticated performance sedan with fuel saving MDS technology. Move outside and let the man go through. Let the man go through. Georgia Tech has led by as many as nine. Maryland has now closed that gap. 42 38 is our score with 15 23 to play. Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You gotta wanna need to get a have a Bojangles today. Maryland has shot the ball better here in the second half, Tim, but Georgia Tech has really insert, asserted themselves inside. They have five offensive rebounds here early in the second half, and they have only turned it over twice after turning it over 18 times in the first half. You look at this Georgia Tech ball club. You alleviate some of the turnovers and improve at the line, and this is a pretty good ball club. They certainly have ingredients. Clinch with the penetration. Offensive foul. One of the things that I've seen today from Pinch is that he's really forcing it a little bit. He's got 10 points in the game, but that's another turnover now. He's now got two personal fouls, and it just seems to me that he's trying a little bit too hard on offense. Jin Soo Kim in the ball game for Maryland. He'll bring the ball in. He's 6'8". But the Maryland Terrapins overall really lack height. Got a couple recruits coming in next year they're high on, including this freshman right here they like. That is really a smart play by Mosley. He saw the ball go off the Georgia Tech player's foot, and he didn't try to pick it up. It went out of bounds, and so if had he tried to pick it up, there may have been a 10-second violation, right. but now you don't have to worry about that. you got another 10 seconds once the ball goes out of bounds. That is a very heavy play. Hayes takes it across the timeline. Terrapins now to go to Vasquez. To Mosley. Too strong. And mostly only a 25% three-point shooter. But I mean, when you get the open shot, you have to take it. I think he was surprised at how open he was. Maryland in the man-to-man. Georgia Tech has been very good in these half-court sets going inside. Shot clock at five. Pooch has his shot blocked. Terrapins are running. Vasquez misses the layup. That's an impossible shot. And Lawal with the bucket. 
Maryland really does not have anybody who can stop them. And that's why I say the clinch the last time he drove the ball to the basket, but you got to let the big guys handle. Outside to Dave Neal. Again, Ken gets in the way, forces a turnover. Terrapins have numbers to Mosley shot clock. Oh. Great effort by Georgia Tech to get back and Aminu with the block. Aminu does a nice job getting himself set up in the lane and he just chases that ball. He's coming down from the free throw line, just never gives up on it. Again, he's six feet ten and has a long, long arms. Shot by Neal is short, gets his own rebound and the foul. Take a look at our Woodman of the World scoreboard. You can see a close ball game down at Clemson. Twelve minutes left in that game. A low scoring affair. I think that's much to the advantage of NC State. Home run pass to Amino at the other end. And Georgia Tech starting to pull away and Maryland needs a timeout. What a great pass by Clinch for the home run ball to Aminu for the easy bucket. Tim, and just try sometimes to take a basketball and throw it that far. You know, the basketball isn't really designed to be thrown that far, but this is a great pass. Hits him in stride, and all he's got to do is take that one big step and dunk it home. Well, Dan, I know this has been on your mind the entire ball game. They all tell text of war. You wanted to know how this would <laughs> wind up, and it's just exactly as you said, about almost 60% for North Carolina. Well, I'm amazed that people know that A1 is North Carolina and A2 is Wake Forest, and they have some idea what all that means there. I thought A1 was the way to Key West. That's all I knew. Amino now with 12 points, 12 blocks. I mean, 12 points, 12 rebounds in a block. And with that North Carolina-Wake Forest game coming up, we get to show you there the unanimous ACC Players of the Year. Tyler Hansbro in an elite group there. Boy, Hayes, Hayes looked at it. He wanted to pull the trigger. Oh, oh. Drives with the left hand. Aaron Hayes. Hayes now with eight points. Terrapins within six. And Maryland, they've got to crawl back closer defensively. Challenge that one. And that was a good play inside. Vasquez. Just not well, there he is today. really struggling. Just he? not there today from three-point range. The entire Maryland team from three-point range has struggled. See, too fast by Clinch. They got the rebound, but much too quick a shot. Let the big guys handle it. Inside to Amino. You called for it, they gave it to you. Vasquez goes out of the ball game. Dupree comes in. Tucker comes in. They've got to find an answer for Amino. He's got 10 this half. You know, we're talking about that North Carolina Wake Forest game. Aminu's brother, Al Farouk Aminu, one of the key players, freshman at Wake Forest, will be a critical player for the Deeks against North Carolina. But Big Brother's doing a heck of a job this afternoon. Terrapins now with Milburn in the ball game and Dupree in the ball game. Six seven six eight. So Dupree's matched up inside against Shumpert and couldn't find him. Hayes off balance, tough shot, comes up short. Gary Williams just shakes his head. Here come the Yellow Jackets. Nice look. A little too much. And Paul Hewitt says, "Settle down." You know, if you're going to throw that lob pass, that you can't was a throw bullet. bullet. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Could your home be more energy efficient? Find out how with Save the Watts Guy from Progress Energy.
Like saving energy and money? I've got the tips and programs you need. Meet me at SaveTheWatts.com, and I'll show you how to get started with a free home energy check. From Progress Energy, because it's your wallet, it's your world. Save the Watts. What's G? It's gifted. Glorious. Genuine. And good C. It's the GOAT. Ha <laughs> ha. The greatest of all time. What's G? It is the heart, hustle, and soul of the game. That's G. In the islands, tropical flavors bring out the best in fresh seafood. At Red Lobster, we're bringing new island-inspired entrees to you. Like tender, wood-grilled Caribbean rock lobster and shrimp, brushed with a sweet and spicy glaze. New Hawaiian Isle shrimp and salmon. And new wood-grilled citrus rum shrimp and scallops, flame-seared to seal in the juices. Wood grilling and the flavors of the islands. A whole new way to love seafood. For a limited time, at Red Lobster. My man. Hey. What's new? Just keeping busy. Yeah. Fios is giving customers over 100 HD channels and a free DVR for six months. Wow, that's great. That is great. That is awesome. Did you just press all the buttons? No. Yeah, I think I'll take the stairs. Uh, the stairs don't work. I saw what you did. Switch to Fios today and get a free HD multi-room DVR for six months. This is Fios. This is big. We talked before the game about the Georgia Tech inside players, Luol and Aminu, having a big advantage. And Georgia Tech has utilized that very effectively. They've been able to throw the ball in the low post in the first half. It was Ghani Luol carrying the scoring load. In this half, it has been Holiday Aminu. But the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, they're really producing in terms of the power game by getting the ball down inside to the big guys on the blocks. And Maryland has really struggled with defending there. Now this is an interesting stat. You see here where well, the points close to the basket are about even, but Maryland has gotten theirs by driving the ball to the goal. So it's basically perimeter guys scoring those points. Georgia Tech's guys have been scoring it back to the basket. Georgia Tech has been inconsistent with its scoring over the last 10 games. 77 or more 55 uh, times and then of course below 66 five times and they're eighth in the ACC in scoring. See Georgia Tech with a big rebounding advantage and one reason for that is Maryland has missed so many shots. There's more defensive rebounds to be had by Georgia Tech. Georgia Eleven and a half minutes to play. Maryland's got to figure out a way to get the ball in the basket. Hayes on the best baseline. And the Terrapins throw it away. Tucker was looking for Milburn. He cut and threw behind him. Matt, when you're having such a difficult time shooting the basketball, you can't afford to have wasted possession. You have to at least get a shot. What a great recovery by Amino. And back to Amino. Has his shot blocked by Dupree. That's a great play. Tech gets it back. And the offensive foul called on Clinch. That's off the ball. He ran over Gravis Vasquez. That's three fouls on Lewis Clinch. But the trap in midcourt, this is a good trap, but Aminu never gives up on the ball. He lost it, got it right back. And then Braxton Dupree comes in and makes a key block, I think, for Maryland. Boy, Hayes, Hayes had a notion. Instead, takes it to the right elbow, shoots off balance. Amino, he's trying to shoot it over Amino. That's that's pretty tough. Maryland really has to dig in defensively. He did a nice job forcing turnovers in the first half. They've got to get some runouts off turnovers here, just to get the ball to go in the goal. Ten and a half to play. Mo Miller takes it back out and resets with the shot clock at 12. Shot clock down to seven. And the whistle and the foul called on Dupree. 
That's a nice job by Georgia Tech. They were very patient, even though the shot clock was running down. No panic. They moved the ball around, and they threw it into the wall down on the low post and drew the foul. Very effective use of their big guys against the smaller team. Number. Nice rebound. Milburn and Dupree now starting to assert themselves on the boards. Mosley drives the bucket, misses the layup. And Landon Milburn is fouled. Oh, he calls a jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to Maryland. Well, it's got to be like running in wet cement for Gary Williams. It's just, you know, his team is playing hard, but they just can't get the ball to go in the basket, and he's the way he's looking at it, they can't catch a break either. Milburn dribbles it out of bounds. Terrapin's a little bit frustrated right now. And you can understand why. The game is a very difficult game when the ball's not going in the basket, and it hasn't gone in the basket for Maryland all day long. They're only shooting 27% in this half. They've got 11 turnovers. And that is a bad combination. Still an eight-point game. Yeah, see, they're still in the game, and there's plenty of time left in the game, but poor shooting and turnovers is not normally a formula for success. Mo Miller back to clinch. Turn around jumper, yes. Clinch is not shy. He's going to shoot it. Georgia Tech's biggest lead. Nice pass. And Dupree is fouled. I believe they called that on the wall. Braxton Dupree, they list him at 6'8", 260 pounds, and yet, despite that size, he has not been able to establish himself as an inside force, certainly not in this game and not this year. This is a guy, if he could do some scoring down on the block, it would really help this Maryland team. And he misses the free throw. He's only a 44% free throw shooter. Take a look at the Woodman of the World scoreboard. This game's coming down to the wire now with eight minutes left. A little spurt by Clemson. They've stretched out the lead. How about Georgia coming back from that loss against Georgia Tech? Playing well. You know, another problem that Maryland has had today, Mosley is the only guy to come off the bench and score any points for the Terrapins. So they've struggled shooting the ball, and their bench has not produced any points. Sometimes when you're struggling in a situation, a guy comes in off the bench and provides you a spark, but that really hadn't happened for the Terrapins today. I thought that pass was to you. <laughs> That's why you were trying to pick it off. Here's Mosley. There are four Maryland Terrapins. It's five, five on two. two. And they get the easy bucket. That's a great job by Mosley to push the ball. Georgia Tech very slow getting back on defense. But you got to give Mosley some credit there. Here's Bowie again. Bowie in the lane. Offensive. And he just ran over Miller. That is... That's a really poor decision by Bowie. There's no reason after that turnover to force that one. That's four on Bowie. Miller was standing right there waiting for him. Player control down on 22 Adrian Bowie. Gary Williams really upset by the call. Those are bang bang plays, but you just don't need to force that in that particular situation. They get Hayes off the bench. He's gonna have to come in for Bowie. Amino with the reverse layup. Boy, and there's Mosley again. Nice play by Mosley. Keeping the, the foot on the ground. Mosley in the lane. Kicks it back outside. Here's a whistle before. It's on Amino. And it is on Amino. That's his first. Boy, that's amazing. As active as he has been today. I think a bright spot in the game so far for Maryland, given the fact that they've shot the ball so poorly, they're only down eight, and this kid, Mosley, going to the free throw line, I think has had a really good game for the Terrapins. He said he had his coming out party against Charlotte, really played well. He makes the free throw. Well, he's now got nine points in this game. He's got four rebounds. He's had a couple of steals. Did a nice job just a couple of possessions to go pushing the ball up in transition. 
getting better and better every game. The true freshman out of Baltimore against Charlotte had 11 points, two for two beyond the arc, five rebounds, five assists. Makes them both. Cuts the lead to six. Crowd comes to life in the Comcast Center. No problem breaking the press for Georgia Tech. They've got a two on one. Mo Miller took it all the way to the hoop. That's, That's a great fun. job by Miller to catch the ball and head down court without a travel. Almost ran into his own man. Good to see him back. Vasquez is fouled. That bucket will count. And that's what Vasquez can do for you. Now, he's only 5 of 15 today after being 5 of 21 on Wednesday. But this is where he can be most effective, taking the ball at the basket, using his size and strength. And so the junior from Caracas, Venezuela, goes to the line. He's made 32 consecutive free throws, three of those coming today. Pretty good streak right there going back to early December. He's led the Turks in score in nine of 14 games, second team all ACC as a sophomore. And Tim, for all their troubles, the Terrapins are only down five. With 8-14 to play. Low Miller again penetrates, taken away from behind by Mosley. Terrapins to Vasquez, dangerous pass. Not to Hayes. Hayes with three three balls now. Georgia Tech throws it away. 25 turnovers for the Yellow Jackets, and that has certainly been the difference in this ball game. We'll be back. Drinkability. Let me explain. According to my poll, 41% thought drinkability meant the ability to drink. 26% said easy to swallow. One guy in Boston told me to get out of his yard. Actually, drinkability means that Bud Light is just the right taste. This is one of your nicer maps. Not too heavy, not too light. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. I do. I exercise daily. Um, I do my... See this guy or this guy? Or this gal? Almost anyone can create a one-of-a-kind ACC tournament experience. Just go to RBC Bank, ask about a personal or business money market account, and enter the RBC Bank Shoot for Loot at the ACC Tournament Sweepstakes. Win a trip for two and VIP tickets to the ACC Tournament. Go from the crowd to the court and win cash by sinking shots from here, over here, and back here. Make all five and win this. And it all starts by going here. RBC Bank. For complete rules and details, visit an RBC Bank branch or rbcbankusa.com slash shootforloot. Everything on this everyday value menu is only a dollar. I hear you, Great man. Great deals, man. Junior Deluxe Burger, a dollar. Chicken Strip Sandwich, a dollar. a small tot for... Whoa. Wow, this usually doesn't happen. What was that? The new everyday value menu at Sonic. Got a buck? Then drive in for a variety of great food, like a Junior Deluxe Burger, a Chicken Strip Sandwich, or grab a delicious Junior Breakfast Burrito for just a dollar. Sonic's new everyday value menu. All this for a buck each. Uh, we were kind of in the middle of something. Yeah, what happened there? Want the lowest price guaranteed on quality carpet? Empire exceeded my expectations, especially when we got our quote. The two major retailers we originally approached were much more expensive. Empire offers the lowest price guaranteed. Plus, shop at home convenience. We install next day with no payments till 2010. The quality of our installation was top notch. We'll recommend Empire to anybody. Call today. 800-588-2300 Empire Today Maryland Terrapins on a 10-2 run to get right back in this ball game and they've been doing it in transition and taking the ball to the basket. Here's Davis Vasquez and then once you establish that you can draw the defense and finally in the second half they started to knock down some threes. 
Chrysler game summary looks like this. Aminu, 14 points, 13 rebounds. Vasquez has come to life. The turnover's the biggest difference. 26 for Georgia Tech. And it's Maryland defense that start those transitions that Dan was talking about. Well, the turnovers have really been a sore spot for Georgia Tech. Plus, they've gotten away from throwing the ball inside the last few minutes. Georgia Tech leads by two. Vasquez to Hayes. Four for four beyond the arc, and they lead. Terrapin's pressing. Now in this atmosphere, Tim, you got to take the ball inside. Your big guys have been effective all night long. Let them get down on the blocks and throw them the ball. That's Maryland's first lead since it was 4-3. to three. Yellow Jackets might be a little bit show shot. Aminu, short put won't go. Now that's the shot they want. It was a good shot. It just didn't go. When Vasquez talking to the crowd, I think that they need some uh, offense rather than showmanship at the moment. I agree with you. He ought to just play ball. He did some of that the other night against Morgan State. Nice move by Hayes. Hayes with 16 points. He's perfect beyond the arc. Clinch answers with a three ball. Rips court from way outside, and it's tied at 55. And Hayes has 13 points in the second half. We all, he only had three in the first half. We talked at halftime about how the fact that he had to be more productive. He certainly has answered the bell here in the second half. Kim shot too strong. Well, they wanted to get Kim more playing time. This is his third, third appearance in this ball game, but he hadn't made a bucket, and there's a whistle outside. Nope, no nope bucket. Foul before the shot. Need a lift to see your favorite basketball team in action? Well, enter the all tell My Circle Hoops getaway, and you can travel with 10 friends on a private jet to the regular season pro or college game of your choice. The ultimate VIP experience. For your chance to be one of the five lucky grand prize winners, just text ACC to 57533 or visit alltellbasketball.com. Iman Schumber. 62% free throw shooter. Looked better than that. Now hit 39 of his 62 attempts. That one was sweet. Now, Gravis Vasquez is a guy who, from that top of the key spot, really likes to run to the basket. You're not allowed to get over the three-point line, get inside the three-point line until after the ball hits the rim. He hits his seventh point of the afternoon, and it's a two-point lead for Tech. All right, now Maryland expended so much energy and effort to get back in the game. Sometimes you just can't keep it going, and this I think this is a very important possession for Maryland. And for the crowd. The crowd settled down and went quiet. Vasquez running one hand or short. That's a tough, tough shot. Blocked by Milburn. And lost out of bounds by Georgia Tech. I'm still trying to figure out Vasquez. He was telling the quiet crowd to be quiet like he was playing on the road. This is a really nice move to the basket, but Milbourne, who's an excellent shot blocker for his size, comes over from the help spot. Cleary with a jump stop has it knocked out of bounds. It'll be Maryland basketball. 28 on the shot clock. And Eric Hayes, Gary Williams had him down there for a second just to get him a brief rest. And Hayes, he, you mentioned he's made 4-4 four, four in the second half from three-point range. I think I'd give him a try again from out there. Hayes to Bowie to Neal. 17 on the shot clock is a reset. Seven on the shot clock. Vasquez looks up, sees it. You know he's going to take it from here. It's a to Neal. Nice give up by Vasquez. 
Terrapins to Neal, who struggled offensively from outside, drains that one. Terrapins by one, first three since other than Hayes. Neal and Lawal having a great battle inside. Clinch for three, Bowie with a rebound. Way That's outside. a bad shot. I don't know what the hurry was. That's what Gary Williams is saying. What about the offense? Clinch off balance. That's another. That's again. That's a poor decision right there. And Maryland's going to get the ball back. Last touch by Amino. Maryland ball. 3:44 to play. Maryland Terrapins have all come alive here. My sport. My United Way. It's all about being right here. It's about what matters. The ACC and United Way. Building healthier communities. Want to see more ACC action? With the new ACC Select Service presented by Raycom Sports and CBS College Sports, you're just a click away. Watch your favorite sports live on your computer or catch all the action later with on-demand viewing. See exclusive features highlighting your favorite ACC teams and student athletes. Visit the ACC.com or your favorite ACC school's official athletic website for more information. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? Wake up, people! Pepsi Max. Maximum taste, maximum energy, zero calories. Stop it! an accident, the insurance company can be so focused on profits, they forget you're an innocent victim. I'm Ryan Science. The insurance companies don't want you to know what your case is really worth. Call our injury hotline first. Don't be a victim twice. When you're hurt, call Science Kirk and Miles. They'll look out for you. Call 1-800-LAWYERS 24 hours a day or visit youhavealawyer.com. If you have a phone or a computer, you have a lawyer. 1-800-LAWYERS. Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You got to want to need to get a half of Bojangles. At ACC Saturday, the Yellow Jackets and Terrapins. This is the first conference game for Maryland, the second for the Yellow Jackets. You see the timeouts remaining and the fouls to give. Now the next time Maryland goes to the free throw line, it'll be a two-shot foul. Maryland with 3 on 1. Vasquez drives, can't get it. And the follow, and Neal was fouled. No bucket. And Eric Hayes has been outstanding in the second half for Maryland. He's shot 5 for 7 overall. He's hit three three point baskets. He's driven the ball to the goal. He has provided a real offensive spark for the Terrapins. That's what they were missing in the first half. They just couldn't put the ball in the goal. And Hayes has helped solve that problem in the second half. Dave Neal, though, misses that free throw. And they can't afford that. Neal, an 80% free throw shooter, very strong normally at the line. Makes the second. Terrapins by two, 334 to play. Well, that's a tough catch right there by Miller. That ball was a bullet from behind him. See if they can get the ball inside. And a timeout called by Paul Hewitt. 30-second timeout. And he's a little frustrated with his team right at the moment. The guys aren't going where he wants them to go, doing what he wants them to do. Hey, folks, try Sonic's new everyday value meal. It's the best way to satisfy your Sonic cravings without breaking the bank. It delivers the great variety you would expect. 
And all for only a dollar each. Try the Junior Deluxe Burger, Chicken Strip Sandwich, Junior Breakfast Burrito. They got all kinds of items there, all for one dollar each, all day, every day. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Woodman of the World Scoreboard update showing the Clemson NC State game. Two and a half minutes left in that one, and Clemson has separated itself from the Wolfpack. Clemson's one of those teams that have excellent depth. They keep the pressure on you all game, and they tend to wear you down, and they're stretching out the lead against NC State. Now, here's Maryland. They got to dig in on the defensive end. Terrapins by two. Yellow Jackets with 12 on the shot clock. Mont takes it down to the bucket and banks it in, and it's tied. That's a good play because Maryland is devoting so much effort, Dave Neal in particular against Ghani Lawal, to defend the big guys that that drive to the basket is open. Nobody's going to come and help. Mont Schumber with nine points. Nice give and go. Blocked! Boy, what a nice play by Schumbert at the other end. So he scores, comes, and blocks and stops Hayes. 22 on the shot clock. And I thought that was an easy basket for Eric Hayes. Nice defensive play by Shumpert. Number three, Mel Miller. And Lance scores. Gary Williams calls out the offense. Vasquez looks. Back to Landon Nolburn from beyond the arc. Gotta follow that shot quicker. You know, he's gotta know where it goes, and Amino turns it over. Newborn, not a three point shooter. Only four three point field goals made coming into the game. That's the kind of a shot where maybe you take a couple dribbles and get a little bit closer to the basket. He's one of those guys. He shot 39% from beyond the arc last year, and they've been trying to get it going, but you're right, especially in that situation. As Hayes misses outside, last touch by Neal. So well, Hayes, Hayes missed that one, but unlike the last shot by Milbourne, that shot by Hayes is one you absolutely want. Two and a half minutes to play. As we suspected, this one's going down to the wire. Tied at 59. This is a tough spot for a freshman point guard. Looking inside, easy. Well, right around Neal. Well, Neal is doing the best job he can, but Lawal is a quality player down in there. And Georgia Tech just decided that's where they were going. Vasquez. Looking for help. And taken away by the Yellow Jackets. Nice defensive stand there by the Yellow Jackets with a minute and 40 left. A lot of dribbling. 12 with the shot clock. Back inside to Aminu. What a great block out by Neal. One on four. Last touch by Georgia Tech. Terrific hustle by Adrian Bowie. Bowie saw that play coming and just ran to the ball. 28 turnovers now by Georgia Tech. Watch Adrian Bowie, he's running across your screen and the pass is very poorly thrown and Bowie's able to knock it off, stores out of bounds, but Bowie was chasing that play from the start. Each have a timeout left. You see the fouls to give. Yellow Jackets with 10, so it's a two-shot situation. 67 seconds left in the game, and we are tied at 61. And the possession arrow in a held ball situation favors the Yellow Jackets at this point, Tim. Boy, those turnovers have just really hurt Georgia Tech today. 28 of them, but now Maryland 
Got their shooting eye back a little bit in the second half. They have to execute we offensively. One to play. And the foul out front. Shumbert picks up the personal. He's looking like, what did I do? It's a two-shot foul, as we just showed you. They're over the limit. And with 58.2 left, Bowie is 73% free throw shooter. Makes the first. And I, I think that's such psychologically so important to a free throw shooter. You go to the line at the end of the game in a tough situation, and you know you have two. You don't have to worry about that one and one. Makes them both. Bowie was one of the best shooting guards in the country coming out of high school. Gives Maryland a two-point lead. 55 seconds left. Maryland in the man-to-man. -man. Watch that Neil the wall matchup on the inside. See, the wall was open, but they didn't throw him the ball when he was open, and Neil covered him up. Shot clock at 15. And the foul on Georgia Tech. Who they call that on? Clinch. Clinch. Thirty-three point nine seconds left. Paul Hewitt very upset about the call, but and I think now they're trying to decide who the shooter is. But if the foul is on Clinch, then the shooter is Mosley. Well, Mosley is only a sixty-six percent free throw shooter. Now, now wait a minute. Now wait they're a minute. saying the foul is okay. on Maryland. Well. That's a horse of a different color. Is it ever? So that the foul would be on Mosley. And Clinch is going to the line. The foul is on 14, Sean Mosley. So now the crowd is notified that the foul was on Maryland, that it is on Mosley. So Clinch goes to the line, and he's a 65% free throw shooter. Rattles that one around. Oh, what great hands by Neal. The outlet pass to Mosley. And last touch by Schumber. Boy, you didn't need to throw that pass. Not with 24 seconds left in the game. Shot clock is off. There's no reason to throw that pass. But Mosley was in the game for defense, and so... Georgia Tech, I think, calls that timeout. Terrapins need to get Hayes back on the floor. He's one of their ball handlers. And he's, he's back. Take a look at our Red Lobster. Nothing but net shot of the game. And it's Maryland Dave. trailed almost the entire game. Right, and Dave Neal hits this three to get Maryland the lead with just over four minutes left in the game. An excellent pass by Gravis Vasquez, but it has been a struggle all afternoon long for Maryland. You know, Neal made that shot, and we just saw him do a great job keeping a rebound from going out of bounds down there. And Neal has worked very hard all afternoon inside against Ghani Lawal. And I think his defense against Lawal in the second half has been really a key. Lawal only has four points in the second half, has only taken four shots. And I think you have to give a lot of credit to Dave Neal. I agree with you. And you were right when you said he was shooting from the outside way too much. With hard work, though, he has become the Terps' best three-point shooter by numbers, but you're exactly by right. Percentage. His best game is played down low, and he's done a terrific job on Georgia Tech's big guys, and that's where he's really made a difference. Well, Tim, in the first 14 games of the season, Neal attempted a total of 22 three-point shots. He had 10 three-point attempts in the game today. That's too many. Exactly. But he's, he's been outstanding defensively. Now Georgia Tech... You got to go for the steal here. And again, the clock is off, so if you don't get the steal, you've got to get a foul. That's a great catch. Just a marvelous catch by Vasquez. Now, if you're Maryland, you want Vasquez to keep the ball. Shot clock is off, so Maryland can conceivably run out the thing, so Georgia Tech has to foul with 17 and a half left. And what is Vasquez doing? Who's he yelling at now? Vasquez today, four for four at the line. He's a 93% free throw shooter. We said he hadn't missed since last December. 
early in December. He's upset with somebody in the crowd. He's competing with somebody in the crowd, which at this point is just ridiculous. Still looking into the stands. Well, whatever he's doing is working from the free throw line. He can do whatever he wants. He's now six for six. Terrapins lead 65-61 with 12 seconds left. Now you don't need a three, but whatever you do, you got to do it in a hurry, and not that. Maryland's going to steal one here today. Georgia Tech doomed itself with the turnovers today. I think it's turnovers, and I think in the second half, Tim, it's poor execution in the half-court offense. Gary Williams wants a 30-second timeout. Well, take a look at our Pepsi players of the game. And for Georgia Tech, Amino, who was so strong inside with a double-double, 14 points, 16 rebounds. And Eric Hayes with 16 points. And three for four from beyond the arc. Coming up Wednesday at 9 o'clock, some of you will see the Maryland Terrapins travel down to Miami to take on Jack McClinton and the Hurricanes. And others will see Dino Gaudio's undefeated Wake Forest Demon Deacons head north to beat Boston College and Tyrese Rice, who upset number one North Carolina on Sunday. Two great games. Next Wednesday, go to theacc.com for more information on these ball games. Well, they're all ACC games from here on out, at least until March. Woodman of the World scoreboard, and Clemson does finish that game with... NC State wins it 63-61. Here, Maryland has scored the game's last six points and leads 65-61 with nine seconds left. Just a very, very gritty effort by the Maryland Terrapins, and you can't say enough about the fact that when things were going so poorly, when they just couldn't get the ball in the basket, they didn't quit playing. They played hard, they forced those turnovers, and they put themselves in a position to get a very improbable win. Both of these clubs, very, very tenacious. And everything they do poorly, or really causes their weaknesses, can be overcome. I mean, the turnovers you can overcome. The foul line, certainly, you can improve. Well, the turnovers, of course, the big story for Georgia Tech today. They just, Paul Hewitt's guys just turned it over too many times, and they allowed Maryland to stay in the game with those turnovers. And then the Terrapins finally got the shooting touch going. And they've been able to produce enough offense to seal this one. Well, Eric Hayes at the line is a 95.7% free throw shooter. So Vasquez and Hayes both very sharp at the line. He's got 17 points. And 14 of those here in the second half. And so with 3.9 seconds left. You can understand the reaction of the Georgia Tech bench. They came in here and they played very, very hard. And I think they're going to be kicking themselves. This is one they certainly could have won. But again, Gary, Gary Williams, his team never quit. See that sigh of relief, though? I think well, he knows he, he got away with it. I understand that, but he's got to be very happy with his kids. They never quit despite the fact that they just weren't shooting the ball well at all. Miller's shot won't capture the final. Will be Maryland 68, Georgia Tech 61. Maryland finished on a 9-0 run, and we'll have some final thoughts for you coming up after this. Ah, that's refreshing. Yeah, it's drinkability. Simple concept. The sun is hot, which makes us hot, but light. It's like a million tiny air conditioners refreshing your whole body. Why not just one big one? Because it's a million. I just think it'd be more energy efficient. The easy drinking taste of Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. Hey, better, 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 swing. Swing. There's a place where the very spirit of golf resides. It's found in every pond. It's found in each manicured bunker. It's found in Alabama. The new Renaissance Ross Bridge Golf Resort and Spa on the famed Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Located just outside Birmingham. It's a world-class golf resort. 
that's not a world away. Could your home be more energy efficient? Find out how with Save the Watts Guy from Progress Energy. Like saving energy and money? I've got the tips and programs you need. Meet me at SaveTheWatts.com and I'll show you how to get started with a free home energy check. From Progress Energy, because it's your wallet, it's your world. Save the Watts. The Chrysler 300C. Move outside and let the man go through. Let the man go through. The sophisticated performance sedan with fuel saving MDS technology. Move outside and let the man go through. Let the man go through. ACC basketball has been brought to you by Alltel Wireless. By Pepsi. By Food Life. By Budweiser. And by your Carolina Chrysler dealer. Well, the Maryland Terrapins win by seven. They go to 11 or 12 and three now. 10 and one at home. Very pretty effort by Maryland. I think the key is they never quit. Forced those turnovers. Finally made some shots in the second half. Maryland Terrapins have now won seven in a row over Georgia Tech and 12 of the last 17. Well, you've been watching exclusive coverage of ACC basketball on Raycom Sports. Once again, our final score, Maryland 68, Georgia Tech 61. So long, everybody, from College Park, Maryland. Fios guy, what have you got there? Oh, uh, just an award from J.D. Power & Associates. Verizon Fios TV ranked highest in overall customer satisfaction. What you got? Kung Pao chicken. Ah. So it's Chinese. It's, uh, chicken from China. It's a delicacy. With over 100 HD channels, Verizon Fios ranked highest in overall customer satisfaction by JD Power and Associates. This is Fios. This is big. As a kid, if I needed spending money, my parents made me earn it. So by the age of 10, I had my own little business. I hated that line more. <laughs> After basketball, I went back into business, surrounded by some pretty smart people. You don't have to go it alone either. Jackson Hewitt knows taxes. In fact, 9 out of 10 of their customers get a refund. 9 out of 10? That's a team you want on your side. Jackson Hewitt, a partner and a path. If you're injured in an accident, their insurance company will try to pay you as little money as they can. Don't let them take advantage of you. I'm Ryan Science. The insurance companies don't want you to know what your case is really worth. Call our injury hotline first. Don't be a victim twice. Just call Science Kirk and Miles. They have the experience and they know what it takes to get what you deserve. Call 1-800-LAWYERS 24 hours a day or visit youhaveaLawyer.com. If you have a phone or a computer, you have a lawyer. 1-800-LAWYERS. The Griffins get filthy rich. Mmm, Bon Jovi, everyone. Next Family Guy. Monday at 6.30 on The CW Baltimore. This movie is being brought to you by Indigo Contemporary Romance, available at genesis-press.com. The U.S. Army salutes this distinguished American veteran. More in a moment. I kind of knew their reaction would be a little like, you know, what are you thinking? Uh, I had a knot in my chest. I didn't really want her to go, but I knew she could do 